In 2015, the United Nations General Assembly created the Sustainable Development Goals, also known as SDGs, to replace the Millennium Development Goals in the post-2015 Development Agenda. One in particular is the 11th SDG, Sustainable Cities and Communities. By 2030, it targets cities and human settlements to be inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. With sustainability at its core, the 11th SDG addresses the current issues that lurk within our homes. For example, by 2030, 5 billion people are expected to live in cities which signals the need for larger urban living areas. Nowadays, East and Southeast Asia's 828 million slum dwellers require resilient infrastructure against shocks and disasters. Lastly, cities and towns cover only 3% of Earth's land but utilize 60-80% of energy and 75% of carbon emissions, highlighting the need to reduce the environmental impact. Despite criticism of the 2030 agenda as too ambitious, SDG 11 had 2 out of the 10 targets practically complete. This shows promise but requires more to succeed. So how is SDG 11 achievable? According to the Sustainable Development Goal Report 2023, to achieve Goal 11, efforts must focus on implementing inclusive, resilient and sustainable urban development policies and practices that prioritize access to basic services, affordable housing, efficient transportation and green spaces for all. It is important to understand that action at the local level by local governments is essential to achieving the SDGs. So what are some of the targets set by the UN to achieve SDG 11? The UN uses a set of 10 targets to create action to make cities and communities sustainable. These can be summarized as 1. Creating safe and affordable housing and transport systems. 2. Promoting sustainable urbanization while trying to strengthen efforts to protect and safeguard the world's natural and cultural history. 3. Trying to reduce the adverse effects of natural disasters and reducing the environmental impact of cities. 4. Providing increased access to natural green public spaces and improving national and regional development planning. And lastly, 5. Implementing policies for inclusion, resource efficiency and disaster reduction, especially in least developed countries. Taking Canada as an example, in 2009, the city of North Vancouver developed a 100-year sustainability vision to become a net-zero community by 2107. Projects to date include street tree planting, walk-to-school initiatives and building retrofits. An example of this is Canada's building strategy, Build Smart. The federal government also committed $28.7 billion of the next decade to support the public transit infrastructure. Currently, on an average, 10-15% to 15 of the people in Canada commute to work in public transport, as seen in the figure on the slide. There are a number of economic, social and environmental challenges involved in achieving SDG 11. These are a deeper globalization, persistent inequalities and environmental degradation. As seen in the graph on the left, greenhouse gas emissions have increased since the pre-industrial era, driven largely by economic growth. This has led to an increase in atmospheric CO2 levels. There has also been a net increase in trading around the world, which has led to further environmental degradation and social inequity. The ambition of sustainable cities and community uh, virus globally, with some regions making significant stress, while others face challenges in achieving sustainability goals. The United Nations the Sustainable Development Goal 11 focuses on making cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. Whether these efforts are efficient enough depends on various factors, including the specific goal set, the level of implementation, and the outcomes achievement. There are some examples. The first one is Singapore. It has embraced smart city technologies to enhance sustainable. Another one is Germany. Energy Wendy. Wendy or energy transition is a national strategy to uh, shift towards a more sustainable energy system. The final one is China Eco Cities like Tianjin Eco City, which um, prioritizes great spaces, energy efficiency, and low carbon transportation. In conclusion, SDG 11 is a significant approach to sustainability in 2030. However, with a few years left to achieve it, significant approaches are needed such as concrete measures, continuous monitoring and evaluation, profound collaborations and synergies, new governance and management models, and integrating ethos of democracy. Societal goals themselves cannot be achieved in isolation. Therefore, everyone must bite the bullet, play ball, bury the hatchet, and go the extra mile to achieve Agenda 2030.